when there were all the rumors about Cody going to WWE, one of the biggest things was, is he going to have his theme song? And then WrestleMania 38 in Dallas, wrestling has more than one royal family. Yeah. -na 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 -na. I was like, oh, there <laughs> it is. Oh my gosh. Wow. They're acknowledging that AEW exists basically. Yeah, yeah man. Um, so it's even more cool because he did the whole throne yeah. thing. Uh, right when he like aw was taken off i can't remember what pay-per-view that was it was double AW. or nothing double or nothing yeah, the very go. first one um he man so hearing it so we i don't want to give away too much but we were aware that kingdom was coming and we were in a little bit of a, a legal battle and cody rhodes is absolutely the fucking man um we were on the phone with lawyers and agents and wwe's lawyers and composers um before and we have been with them since 2009 and we all have regular jobs and we just wanted our cut of the pie on this one we know what happens when you, you know, we're not joan jett we're not in living color or in uh living color but like when you use a real song they yeah. get paid those artists get paid yeah it's not a part of wwe work this is a song that we wrote it's a licensing like thing right yeah, like they get absolutely. paid every time you hit play on that correct so if someone wins it gets played twice double your money that's what we want we want winners yeah. um <laughs> but we just wanted we were ready to walk away uh from kingdom and say thank you and we're going to go back to doing our regular jobs and uh so Cody might have come out to something different when he returned to WWE. It was pretty close to it. And then uh, Cody, we held a silence for a little bit and I'd said my piece and I'm my, you know, my heart's in my throat and I'm not ready to give up this song. I, you know, I worked so hard on this song. We worked so hard on the song. Uh, and Cody just basically breaks the silence and he goes, uh, well, you don't get me without kingdom. Wow. on this conference call and I was like, all right and he swore up and down right when he started using it that if i go back to wwe i i'm taking kingdom with me and i mean he's been nothing but truthful with us the whole time but you never know when it you know when it comes down to the moment you never know what's going to happen and about two weeks before we had this big make or break moment and he i it might have been two seconds of silence it might not have been the 10 that's in my brain right now but like <laughs> he probably it. felt like two hours oh my god dude my isn't that god. one of those situations that they always say in, in a business negotiation that when there's silence the first person who talks loses yeah not not on this one yeah. well if it was you ball, to talk man. maybe maybe you would have lost <laughs> but your guy yeah. your guy came yeah. through for you Cody came through and that's the only one that really mattered in the room at the moment so um yeah he said you don't get me without kingdom and 